Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my tap to change filters. And those filters look like this. And they also look like this. But that's just two of the versions that you can make. But the one that I'm going to be making today for y'all is the colored filter, the one that I first showed you. So before we get started, don't forget to follow me on all my social media, my Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. And also don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the little bell so you get notified every time I post a brand new video. And also don't forget to leave a like on this video and also comment down below any other video ideas that you would have for me or any other tutorials that you would like for me to do. But I do not want to hold y'all for too long. So let's just get right on into the video. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go and open Lens Studio and open a brand new project. And then once you have your new project open, you're going to want to go to Add Resources and then add a script. And then you're going to want to go down in the description and copy the script that I have in the description because that's what you're going to actually need for the tap to change. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy that and then you're going to go into the script, double click it, click and select all of the text right here and then just press Control V and then it'll paste it right into the script. And now the script is in there. So then you're going to want to press return and then command or control S, whatever computer you have, so that it saves it and then it'll reset the preview and everything, but that makes sure that the script is now inside of Lens Studio. So what you're gonna want to do in next is go into the resources panel and open up whatever LUTs that you're gonna use for the colored filters. If you don't know how to use LUTs or what LUTs are, you can check out this video right here. It is a how to make Visco filters tutorial and that shows you what an LUT is and how to use an LUT. So make sure to watch that. But then you're gonna wanna open up however many LUTs that you want for the tap to change. I'm just going to do three today. So then you're just going to open those up in the resources panel and then you're going to want to go into the resources panel and add a new folder and then you can rename this folder to LUTs just so that we have a place for all of the LUTs to go. So then you can go and select the LUTs and move them into the folder so that it's just very organized in the resources panel. And then you're going to want to go up to the objects panel, add a new color correction, and then just add an empty one. And you can clear out of the script editor because we don't need that. And then you're going to duplicate this however many times that you have for different LUTs. So I have three different LUTs, so I'm going to have three different empty color corrections. And then what you're going to want to do is put a different LUT into each color correction. So for the first one, I'm putting Indie Kid. For the second one, I'm putting Morning Sun. And then for the third one, I'm putting the Peachy Sky. So you're gonna want to go over here and disable all of them except for one so that you can edit that one. And then I'm gonna edit this to however I want this certain filter to look. And then I'm gonna disable that one and enable another one so that we can see how the different ones look by themselves. And then you're just gonna want to do that for all of them. And then you can go ahead and enable all of them. And then you're going to want to go up here in the objects panel and then add a new empty object. And then you can drag the script into the empty object. And right here, you will see that it says object and values. You're gonna add however many values that you have different color corrections. So I have three different color corrections. So I'm going to add three different values. And then for each value in the value box, you're gonna drag in a different color correction. Just like that. And now you have a tap to change. So it'll change through each color correction. And then you can go in and I always add a face retouch. So I'm gonna do that. And then you can add your subscribe text or follow text, how I always have it on the screen like this. You can add that. And then you can go in and add whatever project info you want, and that is the lens icon, lens preview, and the lens name.
and then you can publish it for all of your friends to use the filter. But yes, that is the Snapchat filter tap to change tutorial. I can give you another tutorial for this on how I did the fire glasses one, but I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that this helped you a lot. If it did, don't forget to leave a like on the video and also comment down below if you use this tutorial and make a filter out of it, then leave the link for it down below in the comments and also comment down below any other video ideas or tutorial ideas that you have for me to do. I think I'm gonna start my posting schedule is going to be posting regular videos on Tuesday and then Snapchat tutorials on Friday, or I might switch it around, I'm not sure yet, but that is what I want to do. And since you made it to the end of the video, you might as well subscribe and also click the bell so you get notified every time I post a brand new video. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media, my Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye guys.